We are now in the Diddy pool curse era, okay? Devin Haney should have never went in Diddy's pool. They say you got to be in to make it to Diddy's swimming pool. Are you keeping track of anything that Devin is saying or his workout last week? Once you go to a swimming pool party with Diddy, it's like you don't even pay attention to what the f*** he's saying. Bro. At the end of the day, Stop. Stop. They got the tapes. It's over for him. Ryan Garcia is undeniably leaving an indelible mark on the boxing realm with his recent triumph over Devin Haney, cementing his status as a force to be reckoned with. Yet his influence extends far beyond the ring as he finds himself embroiled in a whirlwind of celebrity intrigue. In a series of riveting interviews, Ryan has taken aim at none other than Diddy, leveling explosive allegations regarding the mogul's reputedly scandalous gatherings. According to Garcia, these soirees are supposedly rife with exploitation, serving as a platform for Diddy's personal gain at the expense of his guests' integrity. Moreover, the pugilist has hinted at possessing incriminating evidence, including potential video footage implicating Devin Haney in one of these purported salacious events. If substantiated, such revelations would undoubtedly inject an electrifying new dimension into their rivalry, elevating it to unprecedented levels of intrigue and speculation. Indeed, the unfolding drama surrounding Ryan Garcia and Diddy is nothing short of captivating, compelling audiences and intensifying the glare of the spotlight upon their every move. Brace yourselves, as this revelation is bound to cause a stir. But first, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. And smash that notification bell for more updates just like this. Now let's dive in. Ryan, another thing. Yes, I personally yes. think uh, Devin and his camp are not interested in running it back. Like, I just feel like that was just too dom dominant of a performance for, you know. All hey, pause. No Diddy. Pause. No Diddy. Then the day, once, once your booty hole got tickled, it's over. You can't even say nothing after that. I I'll be real with you. Once you've been... They got the tapes. It's over for the scandal swirling around Diddy has reached unprecedented heights, propelled by the sudden emergence of startling videos circulating virally across the Internet, triggering a veritable storm of conjecture and hearsay. These captivating snippets offer tantalizing glimpses into the enigmatic world of the music mogul, capturing moments of intimate interaction with fellow luminaries of the entertainment industry, thereby fueling a relentless torrent of speculation regarding the true nature of these high-profile gatherings. Indeed, the online sphere has become a breeding ground for fervent discussion and analysis, with netizens meticulously scrutinizing every gesture and expression exhibited by Diddy, fervently attempting to decipher the underlying significance concealed within the footage. Against this backdrop of scrutiny and intrigue, Ryan Garcia's audacious allegations have only served to intensify the swirling controversy, leaving audiences worldwide teetering on the precipice of anticipation, eagerly anticipating the next seismic revelation poised to reverberate throughout the media landscape. As the drama unfolds across various social media platforms, both Diddy and Ryan find themselves thrust into the epicenter of a media frenzy and public conjecture, their every utterance and action scrutinized under the relenting gaze of an insatiable audience hungry for the latest scoop. Ryan Garcia's recent triumph over Haney not only captured headlines, but also served as a temporary diversion from the swirling controversy surrounding Diddy. While the internet was inundated with shocking videos depicting the chaos surrounding the music mogul, Garcia's stellar performance in the ring emerged as a beacon of brilliance amidst the tumultuous backdrop. From the outset, Garcia showcased his formidable skills, unleashing a thunderous left hook within the opening minute that reverberated through the arena, though it failed to send Haney to the canvas. Despite Haney's subsequent efforts to mount a comeback and display his own boxing prowess, Garcia seized control of the narrative once more in the seventh round, with a devastating left hook that finally sent Haney crashing to the mat, marking the first time in his career that he had tasted defeat in such dramatic fashion. And look what happens next. Evan Haney eats some left hooks from Ryan Garcia, loses as the 8-1 to one favorite. Amidst the eruption of jubilation from the crowd, a hint of controversy momentarily clouded Garcia's triumph when he landed a blow during a break, prompting a point deduction. Nevertheless, Garcia's unwavering determination and resolve were unmistakable as he continued to press forward, ultimately flooring Haney again in both 
the 10th and 11th rounds, thereby reaffirming his dominance in a thrilling climax to the contest. Ryan Garcia's connection to Diddy resurfaced in the buildup to his showdown with Devin Haney, as the young boxer made a bold move during a press conference that sent shockwaves through the industry. With a simple yet impactful phrase, Garcia dropped a bombshell, thrusting himself and his association with Diddy into the forefront of public scrutiny once again. This statement reverberated across media platforms, suggesting potential discord or disapproval of Diddy's extravagant party lifestyle. In a candid interview, Garcia didn't mince words, openly critiquing Diddy's penchant for partying. He remarked, after a night with Diddy, his words just become background noise, singling out Haney in his critique. These assertive remarks not only shape Garcia's public image, but also inject his personal encounters into the broader dialogue surrounding celebrity controversies. This firmly positions Garcia as a pivotal figure in discussions about the impact of celebrity culture on both personal and professional realms in the world of entertainment and sports. This life, the energy is all around us, okay? Devin Haney, the second he walked into that pool, he could never get the blood off of his hands. Ryan Garcia's cautionary words regarding the potential pitfalls of rubbing elbows with Diddy gained considerable credence in light of recent revelations implicating his opponent, Devin Haney. With the emergence of concrete evidence, including photos and videos, showcasing Haney's presence at one of Diddy's infamous poolside gatherings, Garcia's assertions regarding the distracting and influential nature of Diddy's social circle are substantiated. No longer mere conjecture, Garcia's warnings now stand as a precedent commentary on the tangible impacts of affiliating with such high-profile figures. Indeed, Garcia's critique transcends mere accusations offering insight into a recognizable pattern that has the potential to disrupt an athlete's focus and performance. Haney's involvement serves as a stark reminder of the seductive allure and subsequent consequences of indulging in the excesses of celebrity culture. However, Haney is not the sole casualty of this scandal. Another prominent figure, Meek Mill, finds himself ensnared in the controversy surrounding Diddy's extravagant gatherings, with whispers and accusations swirling around his involvement. Meek Mill's association with this scandal draws particular scrutiny in light of some troubling revelations that have come to light. Amidst the rumors, an audio clip surfaces, supposedly capturing a tense exchange between Meek and Diddy. The recording sends shockwaves through the community, offering a glimpse into the dynamics at play within Diddy's inner circle. In the clip, Meek appears to be in genuine distress, while Diddy exerts a palpable pressure hinting at the potentially coercive nature of their relationship. This revelation adds another layer of complexity to the unfolding narrative, prompting deeper questions about the power dynamics and influence wielded within the echelons of celebrity society. Jaguar Wright doesn't hold back. She dives even deeper into the lives of other notable celebrities, uncovering more unsettling incidents involving figures like Diddy. It's like it wasn't seen so fluid that D Justin Bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from Odell Beckham's groin in a club with Trey Songz on the lookout. Wright reveals a particularly alarming episode involving Justin Bieber, Odell Beckman Jr., and Trey Songz, which she lays bare in her interview. These disclosures strip away the glossy veneer of celebrity culture, casting a shadow over the public's perception of these well-known personalities and the circles they frequent. The images are there. Did it fa hey, pause, no Diddy. Pause, no Diddy. Wright discusses footage indicating that Justin Bieber may have been in peril, showing signs of confusion and a lack of control. The footage paints a vivid picture of a dangerous party scene, potentially involving substances, raising concerns about the influence of older celebrities who might encourage harmful behavior in their younger peers. She underscores Trey Song's supposed role not only as a participant, but also as a vigilant overseer, possibly shielding the group's activities from the prying eyes of the paparazzi. This suggests a deliberate effort to conceal their actions, hinting at a manipulative undertone in their interactions. It wasn't just tea fluid that Justin Bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he surfaced from Odell Beckman's groin in a club with Trey Song's keeping watch. The images speak for themselves. Jaguar argued. Diddy or no Diddy, the imagery speaks volumes. Wright delves further into the saga, pinpointing a specific 48-hour window when Justin Bieber 
was in the company of Diddy, sparking a storm of controversy. Additional footage from this encounter shows Diddy showering Bieber with lavish gifts, such as a Lamborghini and a house, seemingly in a frenzy of generosity. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so I'm going to be driving this next year. Yeah, when you get 16. This footage has ignited rampant speculation and concern about the true nature of Bieber's relationship with Diddy and the events that unfolded during their time together. These revelations add intricate layers to the ongoing discourse about potentially harmful dynamics within the entertainment industry. Bruh. Wright's disclosures paint a disconcerting portrait of the exploitation and manipulation often lurking beneath the surface of celebrity interactions, underscoring the imperative to scrutinize these relationships and the settings in which they unfold. With Jaguar Wright shedding light on other athletes like Odell Beckman Jr. engaging in questionable behavior at these gatherings, one can't help but wonder about the prevalence of such practices in celebrity circles. Her revelations regarding Beckman's involvement hint at a widespread pattern of conduct that encompasses not only musicians, but also high-profile athletes. This broader exposition by Wright not only corroborates Ryan Garcia's public allegations against Devin Haney, but also suggests that Garcia's grievances may stem from a broader systemic issue ingrained in these exclusive social circles. Her candor underscores the pervasive nature of these concerns urging a thorough examination of the often glamorized celebrity party scene. By spotlighting these interactions, Wright not only validates the type of environment Ryan Garcia has decried, but also calls for a deeper exploration of the relationships and behaviors that, while frequently glamorized, may harbor serious risks. Wright's revelations serve as a stark reminder of the potential dangers lurking beneath the surface of celebrity culture, prompting a critical reevaluation of the norms and practices that govern these exclusive social circles. Adding fuel to the already raging fire, Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, has unleashed a torrent of shocking allegations that have sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry. Gene's revelations peel back the layers of Usher's relationship with Diddy, hinting at a depth of intensity and potential trouble far beyond what was previously imagined. It's Cassidy thing, Cassie thing, um, uh... I didn't know her, but I knew somebody liked her. Drawing chilling parallels between Usher's experiences and those recounted by Cassie during her tenure with Diddy, Jean has unearthed a particularly harrowing incident that supposedly left Usher hospitalized. Moreover, Jean has exposed unsettling details about Diddy's alleged tactics, including the use of manipulation, such as employing an escort to coerce Usher and Justin Bieber into participating in highly questionable activities. The implications of such revelations are profound, suggesting a darker underbelly to the glamorous facade of celebrity life. I guess it's an affidavit to the courts, you know, of what she experienced. And it's like, it was the same thing Kim was going through. A particular concern is Gene's suggestion that Usher may be ensnared in a trauma bond with Diddy, potentially explaining the singer's guarded demeanor when discussing their past interactions. Gene's assertion, I know and people know that was around that time that Puff and Usher did have a situation, and that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now I let Usher explain that to y'all. I let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say that that man groomed you? You're going to give him a pass, bro? You know I know. This underscores the gravity of the situation and the urgent need for transparency and accountability within the entertainment industry. As Gene's revelations continue, they serve as a sobering reminder of the power dynamics at play within celebrity circles and the potential for exploitation and maltreatment. It is imperative that such allegations are thoroughly investigated and addressed, ensuring the safety and well-being of all individuals involved. Kim was going through the same thing, the beatings, However, in the middle of all these speculations, there's also the possibility that Ryan Garcia's mental well-being may be compromised. 
the sequence of events unfurling on Garcia's social media commenced with alarming posts and spiraled into public outcry and confrontations that captured widespread attention, not only from the fans but also from his own kin. The saga unfolded as Garcia's social media channels began churning out perplexing messages, including a jolting post claiming his demise. This abrupt shift in tone and content sparked both confusion and deep concern among his followers and his loved ones alike. The erratic nature of these postings swiftly snowballed into a full-blown panic spectacle as fans and followers scrambled to decipher the cryptic messages, fueling a frenzy of speculation and apprehension. Even Selena Garcia, his wife and mother of their child, voiced her distress publicly. Her impassioned plea for prayers underscored the gravity of the situation, particularly the urgent worry for Garcia's mental well-being and safety. The family reaction injected a deeply personal element into the unfolding drama, indicating that Garcia's nearest and dearest were also bewildered and anxious about his erratic behavior. Their public expressions of concern served as a stark reminder of the human toll exacted by Garcia's cryptic social media posts and the profound impact that they had on those closest to him. In response to the chaos and swirling rumors regarding his safety, Garcia took to his social media platform to offer clarity. He divulged that he lost control of his social media accounts and access to his financial assets, such as his phone and credit cards, implying that he had fallen victim to hacking. This revelation added another layer of complexity to the unfolding narrative, raising questions about the security of personal information in the digital age and the vulnerability of public figures to cyber attacks. While this revelation aimed to quell the storm, it only stoked further speculation about who might be targeting him and for what purpose. Ryan Garcia's public address, delivered with an air of vulnerability and confusion, only added fuel to the fire of conjecture swirling around his predicament. In his video message to his followers, Garcia lamented his lack of access to his phone and Instagram account, as well as the apparent lockdown on his vehicles. His candid admission of feeling exploited and powerless underscored the gravity of the situation, while his reassurances of his well-being and faith in Jesus aimed to assuage the concerns of his loved ones and supporters. Keep you track of anything that Devin is saying or his workout last week. Once you go to a swimming pool party with Diddy, it's like you don't even pay attention to what he's saying. Bro. However, far from allaying fears, Garcia's plea for understanding and support inadvertently deepened the mystery surrounding his circumstances. His mention of attempts to incriminate him and restrict his access to financial resources hinted at a sinister plot unfolding behind the scenes. The absence of concrete details and the cryptic nature of his remarks only served to intensify speculation about the identity of his supposed adversaries and their motives. Moreover, Garcia's public conversation with controversial figure Andrew Tate further exacerbated the situation, drawing additional attention to his already tumultuous predicament. The exchange conducted on a public platform exposed Garcia to further scrutiny and raised questions about his judgment and decision-making during a period of vulnerability. In the wake of these developments, the public concern for Garcia's well-being deepened, as did their curiosity about the events unfolding in his life. With each new revelation and interaction, the intrigue surrounding Ryan Garcia's situation continued to mount, leaving observers eagerly awaiting further updates and insights into the truth behind the circumstances engulfing the young boxer. I'm trying to think of Macbeth. That's from Macbeth. They promise you the world, and then it all comes crashing down. In addition to rebuffing the swirling rumors, Garcia took a bold stance, leveling accusations against unidentified individuals, alleging that they had orchestrated situations to compromise him. He asserted possessing evidence of misconduct by others, which he pledged to unveil. While this declaration aimed to wrest control of his narrative, it inadvertently portrayed him as potentially overwhelmed by the pressures and manipulations inherent in the world of celebrity. I'm not messing around, man. I have evidence, man. I'll show you every video, and you'll see what's been happening, my friend. I won't back down. They can't touch me. I'm untouchable. With each revelation, it becomes increasingly evident that Ryan Garcia isn't the sole voice speaking out about the controversy surrounding Diddy's gatherings. Given Diddy's current plight, it appears improbable that Garcia is fabricating his assertions. Diddy finds himself repeatedly exposed, grappling with allegations spanning various arenas, including the realm of boxing. The unfolding narrative transcends 
Ryan Garcia's personal encounters, or specific allegations against Diddy. It also highlights systemic issues in the entertainment industry and beyond. These encompass the immense pressures that celebrities face, the potential for exploitation at exclusive events, and the complex power dynamics that often lead to morally ambiguous situations are brought into stark relief by Ryan's public struggles. His willingness to confront bizarre and troubling incidents on social media shines a light on the often overlooked aspects of celebrity culture. His experiences strike a chord with those of other celebrities who have hinted at or directly addressed the darker sides of fame and fortune. Furthermore, the recurrent mention of Diddy's name and a multitude of allegations suggests a troubling pattern that cannot be dismissed. Regardless of the veracity of each individual claim, the sheer volume and consistency of these stories demand a thorough examination of the practices prevalent at these elite social gatherings. But what about you? Do you place trust in Ryan's accounts of celebrity gatherings? Or do you have doubts, given the onslaught of accusations against Diddy? Does this spotlight on the entertainment industry reveal deeper flaws within it? Let us know down below. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more videos like this.